I shall never forget. There I was. It was fifth grade. I was, it was after recess, Mrs. Bigford's class. And I was in single file, the girls in one line and the boys in the other. And as I swung around to see who was coming up behind me, I caught the eye of two of the boys in the other line. And they were staring at me. They were staring at my face. And it was an all too familiar look that reminded me of the birthmark on my face. Most times my haters would just come out and just say, what's that on your face? Or did you get hit in the eye? And I would muster up a, no, it's a birthmark. And then I would hang my head. Now mortified, I would retreat and I would hold in my emotions until I had gotten off of the bus and safely in my room. There, I cried, feeling lonely, feeling ugly, and feeling flawed. This irregular green patch on my forehead and on around my left eye, it had no freaking purpose. And I hated it. And it made me define who I was and my self-worth based on whether or not it was acceptable to somebody else. And what it did, it made me play small. It made me hide. It made me not want to be seen. It made me not raise my hand even when I knew the answer. It made me not give people eye contact. And it made me not stand up for myself when I was being mistreated. But we all have that flaw, don't we? Or a better question is, is Who doesn't have that flaw? And sometimes our flaws can't be seen. You may not even be able to see my birthmark, but it's something that we hate. Maybe it's a speech impediment, or maybe it is um, some other failure. Maybe it's an absentee father, or maybe it is you didn't finish your degree. Or even it's that police report, or better yet, that credit report that you hope no one ever sees. But whatever your flaw, hear me. Your flaw is here to point you in the direction of your purpose. Your flaw is here to make you unstoppable. But my question is, are you ready to face your flaw? Are you ready to become unstoppable? Well, I have the three things that you must do to become unstoppable. The first thing is that you must unleash your beast. Your beast is what I call the X factor. It is that wow, it's that thing that separates you from everyone else. But where does it come from? Some may say it's something that you were born with, something that you were taught, or something that came from experience. And I believe it is none of that. You know what your X factor is? Lean in, lean in, lean in. The X factor is you. You are your own X factor and your X factor can help you become unstoppable. Somebody say, I am unstoppable. The second thing that you must do is you must unlock your potential. Your potential is everything that you can create in this world. Your hopes, your dreams, your future, your aspirations. And it comes from a belief 
that you can. That you can achieve what you want to achieve. That you can break through that glass ceiling. That you can cross that finish line. When you unlock your potential, you can go anywhere. You can, you can take and tackle any and every challenge. Somebody say, I am unstoppable. The third thing that you must do is you must unblock your blessing. Your flaw is not only for you. Your flaw is for those that you have been called here to serve. Having money, having knowledge, having power means nothing if you do not use it to impact, to influence, and to inspire. A few weeks ago, a mom reached out to me after I had posted something on social media about my story. Is it okay if I share a little bit about that? My parents were killed in a horrific car accident when they ran into the back of an illegally parked tractor trailer. I'm a survivor of a 19-year marriage riddled with narcissistic abuse. I also shared about the birthmark and my struggle with self-esteem. And I became the life coach that I needed all those years so that I could help somebody else. As I read that mom's message, she told me about her son. He's nine years old. His name is Zakai. And he too has a birthmark on his face, just like mine. And she said that, that he gets a lot of stares. He gets called ugly. And the kids in his new neighborhood don't want to play with him. As I read her words, I could feel the tears starting to come. And as I listened, I could feel her pain. I could feel his pain. But I could also feel my pain. I was that kid. But now it was time for me to impact, to influence, and to inspire. I talked to that mom, and I gave her all of the gems I could pack into that conversation. I also asked her, is it okay if I mention her son today? And in my book, it's called Mark from Birth, The Transformational Journey from Flawed to fabulous. I also set up a video chat with that young man. He had never met anyone with his same birthmark. And he was so excited. He was so excited to have someone to meet him. And that day, my, my ability to come through my struggle, my ability to decide to tell my story, to come off of mute, to share with him, I spoke life into that young man. Every day, I say to myself, when I look in the mirror, I say, I am the X factor. I am fabulous. And I am unstoppable. And after that conversation, so, so was my new friend, Zakai. He is watching right now with his parents. And I want you all to help me encourage him. I want you to, on the count of three, I want you to say, Zakai, you are unstoppable. One, two, three. Zakai, you are unstoppable. And you too, you can move, you can use your flaw to become unstoppable. But you must, you must, you must unleash your beast. You must unlock your potential. 
and you must unblock your blessing. Say with me, I am unstoppable. And if I can just share one last thing. You may know the three steps, but it's another thing to be able to understand how to implement those steps. And so what I want you to do, I want you to get out your phones really quickly. And I'm going to have you text the keyword unstoppable. And when you do, this is what you will get. You will get the opportunity to get 20% off my book, Marked from Birth, The Transformational Journey from Flawed to Fabulous, where I walk you through step by step how to go from your fatal flaw to your fabulous future. You will also get a free two-day bonus boot camp called Flawed to Fabulous, taught live. And you will also get an opportunity for us to stay connected. And that number, text UNSTOPPABLE to one 592 That is 888-592-2957. I am Dr. Marcia B. Whitaker. I am a physician and your destiny life coach. I work with professional women who are trapped in their personal prison so they can discover who they are decide what they want, and deliver on their destiny. Remember, you are unstoppable. Thank you. 